here smack dab in the heart of Grimsby at today's Italian hidden gem, Casa Toscana. Started in 2009 by three friends who were born and raised in Tuscany, they opened their business and brought that authentic Tuscan taste to Ontario. Naturally, they brought what their homeland had best to offer and opened up the first ever Tuscan extra virgin olive oil and balsamic bar in Canada. Did I forget to mention they also have a farm in Tuscany that produces all of the olive oils and ships it directly to their store for you to purchase. I am here with the man of the hour, the CEO and director of operations, Luca. Luca, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I got to ask about the farm in Tuscany. Is it uh, family run, friends of the family? What's the, the background? There? Absolutely. Family run, both farms. One is a winery and olive growth uh, where from my brother and my sister-in-law. Oh, wow. And it's in Pazzano and Chianti uh, in the Chianti region. And the other one is uh, our own uh, olive growth for me and my other brother. And uh, it's in Radda and Chianti. Again, still in the Chianti classical region between uh, Florence and Siena. And all my family is there. I'm the only one here. Why don't we try our first uh, olive sure, oil? Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh... So I would go trying uh, the fruity peppery. Pure organic extra virgin olive oil. Okay. okay. From the beautiful hills of Tuscany. Uh, this is actually the very first that comes out. So it's the one that... Uh, uh, when the olives are, re you know, extra virgin olive oil is is, give, is uh, coming is a product coming from when the olives are picked directly from from uh, from the plant, which means they didn't fall down, so they're still not ripe. Okay. And uh, so otherwise you cannot call it extra virgin olive oil. So it has a very low acidity, is a very healthy product, Absolutely. and this is the very very first that comes out. So it's a pretty pungent, uh, a little bit of pepperiness. Uh, not spicy, do not confuse it with spicy. Pepper is just a taste. The spicy stays there, right? The pepper mm. just goes away. I'm gonna dive and in. Very, very healthy. Go for it. Oh, wow. That's got such good flavor to it. Exactly. Now, mm. I'm gonna get you to taste something else. Oh, but you can taste it in the aftertaste there. You yeah. can feel the, um, is it, that's the pepper? Is it peppery there? The that's peppery, the pepper. yes. And then it has also a little bit of uh, almond in the aftertaste. Mm. In the back of the throat as well, you know? Yep. I'm going to get you to taste the, the lemon fused. So what happens is that when we decided uh, that uh, we saw all these crazy varieties of olive oil coming out, uh, you know, because I mean, we were the first one, I was the first one to open an olive oil store in Canada yes. back in 2009. I'm still the only one that sells his own product. Amazing. Olive oil is like a sponge. Whatever you put inside, it will actually absorb the taste and the, and the flavor of whatever you put. So this is called an infusion. That's why you can put some stuff inside the olive oil some peppers and you can put some garlic, you can put some herbs. Wow. And, uh, and after a couple of weeks, you will have this infused olive oil. So because we're special and because, you know, my, my brothers are, are, are like me, they're, we, we're crazy and we like to go over, we, we want to always be doing things better than others. We decide to do a fusion. So what happens is that we, we bring uh, olives and products and, and lemons to uh, a, a friend of ours in Umbria, down in Umbria, who has a, a pressing facility for making the flavored olive oils. And he presses together the olives and the items, the produce that we want to fuse. So the two essential oils are mixing during pressing. Mm. And that's a unique flavor. So this is called fusion, not infusion. Taste it. Already, yes. Oh, you can taste the lemon. It's, it's nice and subtle though. It's, a, it's not a, uh, you know, where you get that acidity from the lemon, you can, it's a soft lemon. Fruit. Exactly. Yeah, taste, so, that's really nice. Beautiful for dipping, for drizzling, but especially for drizzling on seafood, on, on salads, mm. it's just fantastic. What is the favorite olive oil or balsamic that you have? Fruity peppery for the plain olive oil and the lemon for sure. Mm. Don't forget that we have other olive oils which are just fantastic. We have blood orange from Sicily, basil from Genova, wow. the Tuscan rosemary because rosemary 
in, in Tuscany, it's, it's like a weed, it goes everywhere. <laughs> and we have the peperoncino di Calabria, peppers from Calabria. But we do also have garlic and the ginger as well, which is uh, the new thing. I'm waiting for the new harvest. Uh, it's coming in the next four weeks and we are very, very excited. We actually deal only with traditional balsamic. The okay. word traditional is very, very important because there's so many balsamic vinegar from Modena mm. around on the market, but not a lot of people have traditional. A traditional means is made only with grape juice, so no, it's there's no uh, wine vinegar added, there's no preservatives, there's no sugar added, wow. and it's not reduced on the stove. It's just plain grape juice aged in wood barrels for from one to twenty five years. Okay, oh. and uh, the other thing is about being no preservatives; it never expires. Year after year, the uh, water in excess evaporates and the balsamic reduces itself. So imagine, wow. from one year, if you, from 100 liters of balsamic, put in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a barrel for uh, at the first year, mm -hmm. only uh, five liters arrive to 25 years. If you leave them over there, they just reduce 95%. There's only 5% left. Wow. Yeah. I'll get a little bit of five years for you. See how thick it is already? There you go. Now, I'll let you taste it, Roy, and then okay. I'll tell you what mm. you should use this for. Oh, wow. Like, oh, yeah. That's a nice flavor. Exactly. I started from the very first day to have refillable bottles. So here you come, you buy a bottle. The bottle has a special cork which allows you to drizzle the product on your, so that you don't pour the whole thing, right? Oh, so, yeah. And you can remove the bottle, the, the cork, when you finish, you remove the cork, you wash the bottle and the cork, and you come back here and we refill it. That's why you see all the tanks like this, because ah, okay. people bring their own bottles, they have to be, of course, clean, and then we refill them. We get them on the program, we have a, a, oil, a loyalty program, which I call the OILT card. Ah. <laughs> I'll show it to you, it's kind of fun. I love it. That's the OILT card, <laughs> right? So every time you come for a refill, I will just mark you down one until you get, uh, you get, uh, you get a free one. Oh, Welcome to Casa Toscana. My name is Devin. I'm going to be taking care of you today. In terms of your menu, of course, we have some amazing dishes on our staple menu, but every single week our very talented kitchen staff comes up with a feature board showcasing the flavors that they're really excited to share with the community this week. What is your most uh, popular dish at the restaurant? We are very, very, very famous for our pasta. Our pasta is made uh, in the house. Actually, there's Mirna making pasta there. And we're going to have a look at her. Uh, just, it's made with a special flour, which is coming from a city, mm. which is called Altamura. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a city in, in South Italy, in Puglia. And uh, it's this, this wheat varietal grows only in Altamura. Oh, wow. Okay, and it's a semolina flour. We use 100% Italian semolina flour from Altamura. And we use also Conestoga eggs, which are beautiful Ontario eggs, mm. very, very orangey, okay? And uh, we make our pasta every day. Uh, that is the pasta laboratory over there. And uh, Mirna is actually doing some agnolotti right now. Oh. We have different machines that are making our pasta. Uh, so we make, uh, of course, we make, uh, um, we make uh, fresh uh, noodle pasta, but we make also fresh, uh, stuff pasta like ravioli, tortellini yeah. and, and uh, cannelloni and all these kind of things, yes. The restaurant, we're pretty, pretty strict with the original recipes of Italy. Right. Every recipe is made uh, respecting the tradition and most importantly, the ingredients. Mm. There's a place I go in southern Italy Oh, I could take you there if you'd like why Grimsby? <laughs> well, it's, it's just by, just it, it happened to be Grimsby because 
I came here in 2008. Uh, I'm a winemaker by trade, so I came here to. Uh, I was hired by a company to to work for them, and uh, uh, it lasted only one year, by the way. But uh, before I, I found my my way on doing this this kind of business, and uh, I was placed uh, in Grimsby. That's where I actually landed uh, from coming from Italy, oh, and wow. uh, and I like Grimsby because you know me coming from. From Radde and Chianti, a very small village in the in the countryside of Tuscany, I am not used to the big city. And the community is awesome. Grimsby is really awesome. We almost know each other. It's, it feels like home. Home away from home, right? <laughs> My new uh, adoptive country. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. This is Casa Toscana in Grimsby. Don't forget to book a rezzo at the restaurant or purchase their extra virgin Tuscan olive oil at the bottega. I'll tag their socials to this video so you can go check them out.